Okay, so I had put a new tire on the other day. Had a flat driving down the road. Um, I've been getting these, you know, your conventional three rib tires. Yeah, but I wanted to get rid of these tires anyways. Um, they really tear up the headlands when I turn, especially when you're tilling ground. You're putting in hay ground, you're trying to make the headland smooth and you don't want ruts. And I go down the road a lot and what happens these outer ribs get worn down, the center rib starts peeling, and it just rips right off. So I'm gonna get a multi-ribbed, larger footprint tire where more of the tire is on the road and on the surface. And, you know, unfortunately I got this new one, I got another new one on my Massey 1105 with the loader. So I'm gonna put this one on the loader tractor since I got two of these recent tires. And I'm gonna come back and I'm going to the tire store right now. They got the tires in for me. And um, this tractor will end up having a more of a smoother, multi-ribbed, even surfaced tire. And I was I was thinking about that this spring, even before I had this this blowout the other day. But yeah, you can see this cracking already. And I don't get much use. I don't these don't last that long. One or by every two or three years, you're replacing one of these front tires. And I think some cases even more than that. All right, got the tire switched on uh, 1105. I put the ripped tires on 1105. And I'm hauling the round bale right now from its winter storage over to the field where the 2705 is. And I'll show you those uh, multi-ripped tires and uh, we'll see how good they do. Uh, they look uh, contractor's entrance to the General Motors proving ground. So people that got the uh, GM vehicles, this is where they put them through hell and test them. They started uh, they started a test track out here in like I think 1926. This is Jerry Hill's old stomping ground. Why do you know him uh, from YouTube? I'll be laying this stuff down tomorrow. It's a hell of a lot thicker stuff. This stuff, this alfalfa here is just massive. 